What's up, B Squad? It is your boy JB, and I am here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 12, Episode Number 20. The episode is titled Silence is Golden, you guys. Now, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and aren't subscribed, you guys are doing me a solid favor. Stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know you can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, sharing the video, and once again, you guys, thumbs up the video for me. Thumbs it up. All right, you guys, so with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, it wasn't a whole, whole lot, but I do have some things that I want to discuss. So let's go ahead and start up with Dorit. So we see Dorit. So Dorit is on the phone with Kyle and they're talking about Crystal's party. And, you know, she's telling her how Rena left early. And, you know, Kyle is talking about the situation that happened between she and Kathy, right? Now, Kyle doesn't understand things that's going on between she and Kathy. And I'm like, but Kyle you teased your sister on that trip in aspen you might have thought it was in fun and in jest i don't know if kathy necessarily thought that but i will come back to that at some point in the review because kyle did actually make a very valid point in this episode but i'm just thinking to myself so you really should have thought about how your sister was like i mean because some of the things that you were doing it was just like okay kyle and I think so. I guess I can talk about it kind of now. So Kyle, nah, we'll get into it later. We'll get into it later. We will get into it later. Yeah, we'll get into it later. So let's pause here, you guys. Let's move forward because it really wasn't much in that scene and I don't want to talk too much about it. All right, you guys. So this next thing that I want to talk about is with Sutton and Erica. I am over Sutton and Erica at this point, right? Sutton and Erica have this back and forth and it's just like, okay, are you going to be friends or are you not going to be friends? It's just like, what the hell is going on here, right? So Sutton had Erica over to her, are we going to have some Popeye's chicken? Okay, girl, I really couldn't care less. So Sutton is talking to Erica. It's just the same thing. You apologize to Erica. She accepts your apology somewhat. She says she's sorry. Then you guys get into it again later. Like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, so are y'all going to get into it at the reunion? <laughs> I'm so over these two, right? So sudden ask of Erica, when it comes down to the ladies, don't lash out, right? Because, you know, there's, there is there is one word that does trigger you. And Erica's like, yeah, I do know what that word is. It starts with the V. Oh, so the victims trigger you. Oh. Don't you think that they're triggered by seeing you flaunt? Didn't, you don't think that they were ever triggered by seeing you flaunt and live your lavish lifestyle on this television show? But you're traumatized. You're triggered. So Sutton says, can you, can you muster up a little bit of compassion and empathy for them? Absolutely not, Sutton. She can't do that because that's not a part of her makeup. So she says, well, maybe I should have a little, maybe people should have compassion for me. You know, Erica, people might have some compassion for you if you came off like a, a, a actual human being, right? It's, and it was, and, I, and then what Sutton was basically saying is not what you say, it's how you say it. It's the inflection in your voice. It's the way you say things. And the way Erica says things, it's all about me, 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 me. And nothing about the victims, right? Because we're going to talk about that in just a minute, too. But, yeah. So, Erica feels like she people should have compassion for her. Girl, Shabai. Go to hell. Go to hell. Because you were able to live your f lavish lifestyle off of those people's money. So, I don't really... I don't feel any compassion, any empathy, any sympathy. I feel nothing for you. Because you benefited. They didn't. So, what am I supposed to feel for you? Okay, girl. So, let's pause here and let's go ahead and move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So, we see Erica 
So Erica is talking to her therapist, right? And I'm like, so does this therapist help with the narcissism that you have? Because you have, from what I can see, you seem like a very narcissistic person. You seem like, you seem narcissistic, self-centered, selfish, self-absorbed. A lot of the, a lot of things that start with self, self-indulgent. A lot of, you know, anything that has self in it, that's all about self. That's who Erica is, right? So then Erica Thomas tells this woman she wants the ability to move on. So then this quack, crackpot, whatever you want to call this woman, she's now granted I got what she was saying. If if this were a different situation and Erica and, and Tom wasn't in this legal battle with those victims, I would be like, you know, she is saying you have to grieve the loss of the life you, you you had. You have to grieve the loss of your husband because he's not the person that you thought he was. You have to grieve the loss of your marriage, right? But I can't say that for Erica because, again, I will say it and I'm going to continue to say it. I don't believe that Erica full well knew 100% of what Tom was doing. But I don't believe also that Erica was oblivious to what Tom was doing. I'm pretty sure at some point in that marriage, she might have, you, like, you never questioned, like, babe, the private jet, how, what, what, the private jet, that's probably when, when I would have said, you know what, Tom, um, the private jet, it would have been, a, it would have been a private jet for me, not even her career, it would have been the private, it would have been the private jet and all that kind of stuff, I just wouldn't have been questioning, like, Tom, where's this money coming from? Like, I would have been questioning that. And I would have been like, um, are you doing something illegal? Because if you are, let me know so I can, you know, distance myself away from this. You know, right? Like, culpability, you know, deniability, all that kind of stuff. Like, I would be like, um, are you doing something illegal that I need to know about? Because I don't want nobody coming after me years later. Kind of like what's happening now. So, yeah, I don't believe she was oblivious, but I don't think she full well knew everything. But also what I'm not going to sit here and play a game with is the fact that we're still trying to pretend as if Tom has dementia. I'm not going to buy that bullshit. And I'm not going to sit here and play with Erica talking about Tom was mean to her. Girl, if he was that mean to you, you would have left a long time ago. But the cash... Money talks. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. So then we see Erica. So she is having a party, right? For her pretty mess hair. Anybody buying her pretty mess hair? Let me know. So there's a reporter there. I was like, oh, so you want to talk about Kathy? So at this point, all the media outlets has talked about Kathy because someone has put it out there what happened in Aspen. So if you guys want, like, in next week's episode, the finale, they're asking who put that information out there. I can give you two people. The two people who either, it's either Renna or um, Erica. My money on Renna. My money is on Renna. Um, so at this party, Sutton and Erica, they making nice with each other. I don't care. I will say one thing nice about well, you know, you guys know I do like Rena, but I've been calling Rena out for quite some episodes now, and I want to say something positive about Rena. Rena, the hair, you look better with a wig than that nineteen eighties hairstyle you've been rocking. That's all I gotta say. A wig fits it, Rena. Long hair fits Rena. So while they're there, Sir Elton John called Diana. I don't give a damn. Let's move on. So then Dorit's old pot stirring as she went to talk to Renna, saying that Kathy had talked to Dorit and said that her behavior was wrong. I thought Renna, well not Renna, I thought that they said in the blogs that Kathy used a slur, a homophobic slur against one of someone that works for Sudden, right? But in this whole episode, in this whole, these last few episodes, We've never heard any mention of a homophobic slur. All we've heard, and in this episode, we got a little, little, little 
pequeño, peque, pequeño, poquito, small from Rena. So Rena said that Kathy said all negative things about her sister and about each and every one of the women with the exception of she and Garcelle. And I was like, well, why would she leave you out of all people? Now, Garcelle, I get it because she's friends with Garcelle. I, I know she said, I think she said she called Crystal stupid or Dorit stupid. Girl, I don't believe, honestly, you guys, I don't believe one word that is coming out of Rena's mouth. So Rena said that Kathy tried to silence her. Do I believe that? Yeah, I do. That part I do. So they went back and talked to the group, right? And they said that, you know, so what they're trying to say is that Kathy was upset because the DJ at the bar wouldn't play Billie Jean. And I was like, huh? So that's why Kathy flipped out. Okay. I just, I'm over these women at this point. Like, but then Cherie said that this all started back when they were at the one place when Brenna brought up the wine, not the wine, but the tequila from Kendall Jenner. She's like, oh, now it all makes sense. Brenna, you knew what you knew what you were doing then and you know what you're doing now. Go straight to H. E double L. Let's pause here, you guys, and wrap up the episode. All right, you guys, so let's talk. Let's wrap this up with Kyle. I have an issue with Kyle because I feel like Kyle is letting Renna do the same thing to Kim. Not Kim. History is repeating itself. What Renna did to Kim, she's now doing to Kathy. And Kathy called that. So Kyle had. Um, Kyle, Kyle had Kathy over to her home, right? Kathy's come on over to make peace with Kyle. So Kathy does apologize to Kyle about the things that she said in Aspen. She says she didn't really expect for those things to get back to her, to Kyle. I was like, damn. So you did say some nasty things about your sister and you didn't expect for them to get back to your sister? Yikes. So Kyle says that, you know, um, she was hurt by what was said. And, you know, the fact that Kathy is trying to say that those jokes that she was doing in, in Aspen were hurting her. And Kyle was like, but you do that. You do. You are a, a joker. And we do. We have saw that right with Kathy, that Kathy does play practical jokes on Kyle. But Kyle, I will say that there's a bit of a difference between your practical joke and Kathy's. Kathy's hit your purse. Kathy has done fun little things. You were basically making fun of and picking at your sister about the things that she was wearing when it's not that deep personally so they made up with each other and i hope that they can make i hope that they can mend their friend their relationship their sisterhood and not let outside forces i.e renna get in between them so renna did come over right so kathy told renna that she apologized to kyle and then she turned around and apologized to renna child this is what renna lost me Brenda was talking about how shook she was from the things that Kyle, not, not Kyle, but Kathy said in Aspen. I'm like, Renna, you have done so many nasty things on this show and you're shook by what Kathy said that we have not saw. I'm hoping that we will see it at the reunion. Maybe not, because I've been thinking about this, right? This is Kathy that we're talking about. Kathy Hilton. So Kathy probably has a team of attorneys. If Kathy did say something negative and nasty, I'm pretty positive her attorneys may have gotten, you know, she might have gotten people involved to say, hey, Bravo, NBC, if you do this, it's going to be, it's going to be held to pay. So I kind of can see that. And I can kind of see that you guys, but like I said, Renna is playing. Renna is playing a fucking game. And then when she sat there and told Kathy she's not well, she has a black heart, she needs to see, she needs to get help. I was like, I know you lying. Because if I'm not, I mean, I've, I've been watching Beverly Hills since the beginning, right? Yes, you have. Renna, how many people have you wronged on this show? Let's go down the line. Let's go down the line. You were supposedly good friends with Eden Sassoon. You stabbed her in the back. Although I didn't like Eden. Kim Richards. Kyle's other sister. 
Denise, your friend of over 20 years, Vanderpump, not the biggest fan of Vanderpump, I will say. I like Vanderpump, but I'm just not like one of those diehard fans of Vanderpump. You did, you, you, you did Vanderpump dirty. And let's not forget Munchausen's the way that you did your good friend, Yolanda Hadid. Have you, so, so yes, Kathy may have said some negative things about Dorit. May they, they probably, they are true, probably. She's dumb, okay. She may have said some things about Sutton. She may have said some things about Crystal. She may have said some things about her sister. She may have said some things about Erica. But Kathy has not eviscerated her friendships on this show. That would be you. You've eviscerated, you've dissolved, you've blown up. You've done so many things to all of your good friends that have been on this show. But hey, Kathy's the one that needs help. I think it might be you, my dear. And once again, I like me some Lisa Renna, but hold a mirror up to your face that's what I'll say to you Renna but that's what you guys let me know what you guys thought about this episode please leave your comments in the comment section below subscribe to the channel and <clears throat> turn on your post notifications and share the video you guys and until the next time stay safe out there take care of yourselves remember to wash your hands wear a mask socially distance you guys be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one oh that's on the phone and also, you guys, thumbs up the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.